Hey, what is up guys? It's Daily Protocol, and welcome to a Redstone tutorial. Today I have a one more in hopper timer for you guys. As you can see here. Um, the only design flaw is the fact that you cannot place redstone dust over here. Um, but a way to split the signal and also solve this problem is either by using comparators or repeaters. Another way to solve the problem, it, although it's a bit more expensive, you can place sticky pistons with blocks of redstone at the end. This design works with a minimum of 23 items that are stackable by 64, or it also works as with a minimum item of 6, with items that can be stackable by 16. As you can see, the clock is slightly faster now. But it will not work with items that are not stackable, because it goes too fast for this piston to react and it causes a bud switch. So that means the clock only works if you go by a multiple of 23 if the item is stackable by 64 or 6 if the item is stackable by 16. So right now this machine only works with um, 23 or 6 and the uh, 6 items depending on how it's stackable but you need to change it a little bit to make it work better so we'll name the 23 items or the 6 items X this will only work for 1X this is 2X this is 3X, that's 4X and 5X um, of course you can go all the way to 13 but I'm just gonna stop it there because there is a pattern to this except for the 1x part that's um, I'll explain why you can't use the pattern for that 2x um, gives out a redstone output of 3 because 1x gives a redstone output of 2 so how this works is you do 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5. So you round that down and you put one redstone dust here, one redstone dust there. Then for where the point 0.5 goes is over here. It's to this side over here. And as you can see, um, at the 5x, you can replace this slab as uh, with a full block. So that's the odd numbered. Um, redstone output. What about the even numbered redstone outputs? Well, you simply do the same thing, except one, the bottom is going to have more redstone dust than the top will be. And then, what do you do with this extra space to power this repeater, uh, to power this piston over here? Is you add a repeater and place a block on top of the piston, just like that. So for the bare minimum, you need pretty much this thing, and you can take a screenshot of it because it's one wide. There really is no hidden redstone, and this redstone block could go on either side. It doesn't really matter, and both of the pistons are normal pistons, not sticky. So the reason why the 1x would not work is simply because, well, here, let's try out the pattern. So you place a block here, then this thing, this slab, and then you try to make, you try to place a repeater here. Um, this will not work because this repeater is not getting any signal at all. And the most compact way to do it, well at least the most compact way I can think of to do it, is simply um, torches. Although the delay would be slightly longer. It does work. Because all the designs are one wide, um, all I guess all you need to do is to take 
a screenshot and keep in mind all the pistons are normal pistons, not sticky. So I'll just press F1 for you guys to take a screenshot. That is all I have for you for this episode, and I'd just like to say thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.